Hello everyone, my name is Lisa Marikans and I warmly welcome you to my short presentation about my master thesis. I want to show you how 3D printing can help treating heart diseases. In my case, I was using this 3D printer to reduce the risk of a stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. But first of all, let me give you some background information. Atrial fibrillation is the most common cardiac arrhythmia affecting around 6 million Americans every year. It increases the risk of having a stroke. In fact, on average, a person with atrial fibrillation is five times more likely to suffer a stroke than someone with a regular heartbeat. In patients with atrial fibrillation, thrombi causing stroke originate in 90% of the cases in the left atrial appendage, the LAA. It is a small structure located next to the left atrium. The reason for a stroke is because atrial fibrillation causes your heart to beat irregularly, which affects its ability to pump blood normally. When the heart does not pump as it should, blood can collect and form clots. If a clot escapes, it can cut off the blood supply to the brain, which causes a stroke. There are different treatment options that can reduce the risk of a stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. The pharmacological approach is with anticoagulant therapy, which uses blood thinner like warfarin. But this therapy affects the whole body and increases the risk of bleeding. There is also a surgical approach to reduce the risk of a stroke. Clots that lead to a stroke are avoided by closing off the LAA. An example, therefore, is the Watchman device. The surgery for the Watchman device is similar to a stent procedure. A catheter is inserted through a small axis in the upper leg. It is maneuvered through the right atrium, the left atrium, into the LAA. Closing of the LAA can be difficult because of its various shapes. In case of incomplete closure, there is an increased risk of a stroke, which means the patient will remain on anticoagulants. The aim of this thesis was to develop a closure device for the LAA that provides an alternative to the current treatment options. To achieve these aims, I divided the project in three parts. Design of the soft occluder, therefore creating a patient-specific solution to completely close off the patient's individual LAA shape. Manufacturing of the soft occluder, using a material with a porous structure that can be inserted into the LAA like the Watchman device. And the testing of material and design to prove the developed concepts. To create the patient-specific design of the occluder, I use MRI images of patients with different LAA shapes. A 3D model of the LAA was obtained through the segmentation of the patient data. Different areas of the heart were color-coded in various layers of the different planes. Here you can see the LAA shown in yellow. The file of the 3D LAA model was exported, smooth for printability and insertion into the heart. An occluder design was created with a flat surface facing the left atrium, and the cheat code was generated for the 3D printer. The hydrogel developed for this project is called GAL Bio Ink, and it contains gelatin, alginate, and lepinite. And this is what the printing process looks like. The cartridge with the hydrogel inside is connected to air pressure, and by starting the print, a 3D structure is built layer by layer. In order to print a LAA occluder with a good print quality, a support structure is necessary. After the print is completed, the material is swelled to create a porous structure, lyophilized and cross-linked, so they are stable chemical bonds. A porous structure is needed so the soft occluder can be compressed to fit into the catheter during surgery. Therefore, I conducted a swelling test in water to measure how the material increases in size and weight over time. The porous structure of the material with different infrastructures was also investigated during uniaxial compression. I created silicone LAAs to test the sealing of the occluder design. Both cylinder and an occluder inserted into the LAA showed slight leakage. The hybrid model ensures the LAA is fully closed off. This approach of a patient-specific LAA device shows high potential for the treatment of patients with atrial fibrillation. Further studies need to show the in vivo behavior of this occlusion device. Thank you very much for your attention.